Ed Friedman, a rabbi and a mentor, wrote, when I know something, I know half. When I'm absolutely sure I know something, I know less than half. I do know that I do know that I do not understand why I'm standing here. Awards and honors do not fit my uh, understanding of heroes and he heroines. I looked it up in the dictionary, and if you look up the meaning of hero, it's a, a mythical figure, often of divine descent. That does not fit. There are those who are working as we sit here right now, who are serving the sick, the dying, the injured, the aged, the newborn, who are doing heroic work. I admire them. I give thanks for them. I give thanks for being able to have worked for them for these many years. It's difficult to see myself in that category. Someone sees something I do not see. I do know half. I have been blessed. I've been blessed to work with heroic people in the care of the mentally ill, in the care of those who come to the medical center. In 40, 45 years, I, I've been at this, and for that I'm thankful. To be recognized by you here is humbling. I want to thank a number of people, because I seldom get to do this publicly. Dr. John Marshall for asking Nancy and me to come to Knoxville in 1972. Some of you will remember that John was the superintendent at Lakeshore. The doctors and nurses at Lakeshore I want to give thanks for, who were far more heroic than most of this community will ever know. For Dr. Al Biggs, who brought me to the medical center. For Joe Landsman and his support of pastoral care. For Ben Harrington, Andy Black, Cliff Tennyson. For Jim Haslam and Dee Haslam. For Tom McCarley, Joe Johnson, David Moon, David Moon. Chip Finn. Betsy Creekmore, Faye and Hop Bailey, Bilo and Ernie Nelson, and for those who allow me to work with them today in pastoral care, Steve Sexton, Ann Sprouse, Ben Lewis, Randy Shaw. Thank you, you guys. I give thanks too for Nancy, for Brenda and Carla, my daughters, for being patient with me. Thank you.